To the Mauna Loa eruption, the biggest concern right now is how to prevent a massive traffic tie-up when and if the lava crosses the Daniel Kainoi Highway. kitv 4s Diana Ko looks at what the county is doing to mitigate that. Madame Pele is unpredictable. On Thursday, scientists revised their estimate of when the lava might hit DKI or Daniel K. Inouye Highway, estimating a little more time. It's moved a couple tenths of a mile closer towards the Daniel K. Inouye Highway. Uh, it's about 3.3 miles uh, south of the highway at this point, and it has slowed considerably. This kind of rate, it would take at least a, a week for it to reach the highway. When it does, though, it'll impact traffic greatly. Continue to work with the different industries and partners in case it gets uh, taken out. You know, what, how are they going to work their transport around the island? Uh, specifically, working with the observatories up on Mauna Kea, the, um, the shipping industry as far as utilizing Kwai Hai and, and Hilo Harbors. Magno says officials are well aware of the economic impacts of cost and extra time on the road. The main thing is that they recognize that there could be impacts and that they, they start looking at their operations to see you know, what they can do to minimize the impacts. He even credits COVID for positioning them well. Coronavirus created some opportunity because people um, fell to work now. Landowners, commercial industry leaders, private citizens, all will be affected. As far as the economic impacts, um, you know, we, we know what fuel costs nowadays. In the meantime, while people can still drive DKI, the county and its partners set up a lava viewing area on Thursday afternoon by Old Saddle Road across Kahele Park. Come up with a traffic mitigation plan to help relieve uh, the big influx of uh, traffic and visitors to the, the saddle area to view the lava. How long that'll be open is anyone's guess. We really don't know when the lava flow or if the lava flow will actually reach the highway at this point. But he says the probability is if it keeps on its current track, the lava and the road are destined to meet at some point. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.